hello beauties welcome back to another video and i hope you all are doing great so today i'll be sharing this look for poila boishak and wish you all shubha poila boishak in advance and let's start for today's video here i'm done with prepping up my face and i'll be starting with this nika prep me a face primer this is a perfect silicone based primer and suitable for who have oily combination acne skin also if you have large open pores it's just to fill the pores doesn't let the pores clog up and also make your base really smooth and long lasting to stick your foundation and this i really love this and then i'll be using this foundation from k beauty it's a hydrating foundation so in this summer season if you have combination skin also dry skin even if you have oily skin you can use this foundation because it doesn't feel heavier this is super lightweight foundation also get to blend it so easily stays for a really long time and hydrate your skin and doesn't make your face looking like oily or greasy and stays for a really long time and i just need a full coverage that's why i'm blending it up using this mars foundation brush as i have still some tanning after my diga trip and have some skin pigmentation so i'm using this brush to get a maximum blendability and the pigmentation the coverage of this foundation you can use any beauty blender don't forget to apply your foundation on your neck also on your ears for a even tone skin finish and you can see that how much perfectly my base is looking right now a little glow is also there then for a much more coverage around my eyes especially i am using this uh, concealer from swiss beauty taking a little amount of this concealer because it's a super high coverage concealer also it's a liquidy formula and you will get enough time to blend it out and a little amount will be enough to cover some areas a much amount will be mix up with your foundation would not look good so i am precisely blending this uh, concealer around my eyes in a circular way so it doesn't get sprayed here and there and i can get a proper coverage around my eyes and you can see that how much perfectly is just covering the dark circle i have in my eyes i haven't used any corrector that's why i am blending out the concealer you can see the result on the camera itself and now to set my base i am using this marshall deal uh, fixer it's a fixer which just fix everything up doesn't make your uh, base like uh, dewy or matte not like that it's just a fixer to fix everything it's uh, one of my most top favorite fixer nowadays and now to set my base i am using this uh, powder from swiss beauty it's a translucent powder so every skin type people can use it and this is the latest trending triangular puff and any translucent powder is the bomb believe me trust me i always using this puff specially to blend out my powder it just set the powder there doesn't make your concealer creased or looking your base like cracking not like this i really love this puff and i am blending this powder the translucent one around my full face because i just don't want to get my foundation looking like oily or something like that and then i'll be finishing my eyebrow using this inside eyebrow definer and then i have this rimmel london bronzer with me it's a natural looking bronzer for the day look for this pala boishak in this hot humid weather i don't think you just need a full glamorous makeup you just need a subtle makeup which is give you a full definition so that's why i'm using this bronzer you can see that it's a blended out so easily also giving me a perfect definition in my face which you will also love and my favorite part i always bronze my nose and also my forehead because i have a little white forehead so this uh, bronzer is super duper just the smell i don't like and then i have this kiro blush duo it's another my top favorite because one is have a matte shade another one is a glowing shimmery shade not that a harsh shimmer particle is there so i'll be taking a little amount of the blush and then i'll be intensify it to my maximum pigmentation i need and you can see it's giving me really natural way finish if you have a oily skin you will love it and then i'm really using this uh, orange tone brown shade from this wet and wild eyeshadow palette to create a crease line and i will be bending it out perfectly so there is a no harsh lines left 
and you can see it getting blended so easily so pigmented is this and then i'll be creating a reverse eyeliner which was a trending i believe uh, using this uh, swiss beauty uh, kajal in the shade turquoise i really love this it has a little shimmer particles will give you a really fresh up look and checking this shimmer shade from the same original palette because it's a super duper pigmented one and apply it all over my eyelid uh, just to my crease line and then i'll be curling my lash using this l'oreal mascara it's just a perfect one if you have a small lash also if your lashes are slipping all the day i haven't apply any kajal on my eyelid so this uh, mascara will enhance my lashes and you can see my lashes is visible and then i'll be using this mars setting spray again to set everything up because i'll be applying the highlighter next so i always love to use a fixer before but again i'll be using this damp beauty blender to dab if any excess product is there to blend it out and fix everything up because i have applied the fixer just before the highlighter and i thought the blush was looking too much subtle so i just intensify it again using the same blush from kiro and next i have this wet and wild highlighter is a perfect one and if you want a really dewy kind of natural finish uh, highlighter it's a perfect uh, you must have there is a no chunky particles and the shimmers are so tiny it will not be visible so but it is smooth to apply stays for a really long time so i'll be applying it all over my high points over my forehead my brow and then my cupid bow everything and then i'll be using this uh, lipstick from prosh which was bloom before and this shade is my current favorite i'll be sharing the lipstick swatch within some days wait for it and then i'll be ready for my transition you can see my makeup is looking so subtle and i'll be changing it up and here you can see my final look i have paired it up with this white kurta and a small earrings i haven't uh, lose my hair because in this uh, summer season trust me i don't like my hair here and there i just like a perfect bun so i have created a bun and a small kurta and a small earrings will be perfect for this summer season with a subtle makeup which is looking really glow but it will not feel like oily or greasy and this is all for today's video don't forget to subscribe my channel see you on my next video till then more take care bye bye